Hey there, how are you? In my last video, I started building a solution for inventory management in model-driven Power Apps. That video took care of purchases and how they impacted inventory coming in. My name is George Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you the implementation of invoices and how they impact inventory. Let's start with a quick recap. In order to sell a product, you usually need to buy it. In the first video on this solution, I showed how making a purchase gave way to an incoming stock movement and also calculated an average unit cost, as you can see in this product here, with the average cost and the logs of stock moving in. The link to that video should be here somewhere. Now let's get selling. Start by creating a new invoice and choosing a customer. Save the invoice and with that you can now add invoice lines. Choose a product, set a quantity and click save. Saving the invoice line sets some things in motion. A new record will be added to the inventory log table recording an outgoing stock movement, both in quantity and in inventory worth. This is done with Power Automate that takes a new record in the invoice line table and then proceeds to create a new record for outgoing stock. Let's see that record here. And also if we go into the products record, you can see the related uh, inventory logs. Also in the purchase you now have a margin set at the invoice line level. With purchases and invoices set up you now have a solution that can manage stock coming in and going out, keep tabs on product unit cost and also record your margin on sales. What about that? What else would you like to see in this solution? Let me know in the comments, okay? And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon!